I'm a research associate at the University of Münster in Germany. Uh, and also I'm doing a PhD there, so I'm somewhere at the end of my PhD these days. So I handed in my thesis and just waiting to defend at some point this year, I hope. Um, what I'm working on is actually facilitating uh, statistical analysis of large Earth, uh, large Earth observation data sets. Um, so I'm trying to make things easier and yeah, and possible as well. So I'm originally from, uh, from the area around Dortmund and then did a bachelor and master in geoinformatics in Münster. Uh, then spent some time working in Karlsruhe and southern Germany and then came back to Münster to do my PhD. I mean, it started, I was always interested in computer science and, but it was like too boring just to do poor computer science. So I thought that geo might be a good application. And then, uh, of course, I had uh, lectures and all that stuff teaching open source software and especially R. And then I quickly got into it and uh, saw the value of using open source software uh, for doing spatial analysis. I mean, I mean, used open source software for quite a while, for like, I don't know, in the last seven years maybe. Um, so what I also do, so the last year is, is development of open source software. So that's, that's what I started like a few years ago. Yeah. The library which I am using a lot and I think it's one of the most valuable libraries in the geo spatial domain is uh, GDAL, so the Geospatial Data Abstraction Library, because it actually brings together the all GIS software, uh, but also data analysis software like uh, R. It's, uh, well, it doesn't depend on actual programming languages you're using it. can read all the data, so you don't need to worry about many things. That makes life a lot easier, and I think that's one of the heart of uh, the whole geo open source. Uh, tools out there. Yes, definitely. So I, actually, I, when I started programming, uh, I, I learned C++ from scratch while I was in school. So I started learning this from very early, but uh, uh, then of course that was useful during my studies, yes. Oh, I'm reading a lot of code from others actually, and that helps a lot uh, to learn and get better. The summer school is a great event, so I actually attended last year when it was hosted in Münster and it was very much fun. So. Uh, so that was actually a pretty easy decision to come here this year after Tom asked me actually. Um, but other than that, I find this summer school uh, very useful because it brings together so many different people. Also um, uh, from applications, from statistics, from uh, developers uh, and all the different people. And that's pretty useful, I think. But yeah, all the machine learning lectures I'm very much interested in because I'm mostly doing traditional statistics and all these exciting stuff which is so popular these days uh, but I always find so difficult to get into uh, so these are very interesting to me um, and I'm very much looking forward to tomorrow. It's a tough question but um, my guess would be uh, and also my hope that it will be much easier to work in cloud computing environments so until now this is still pretty difficult for individual researchers. Uh, so I hope really that it, it gets as easy to work in cloud environments as it gets just opening your R Studio session and then start working. So that's where I think a lot of things will happen. It supports transparency of science and also of decision making in general. So if you're the method you are uh, basing your decisions on is open and everyone could reproduce, that's what the society actually needs, I think.